Hello everyone, welcome back to Embertronics. Recently, we have published one article for RT thread autos introduction in our website. So please bear some time to read this article about RT thread. In this video, we are going to see how to getting started using that RT thread. First, go to this website rtthread.io and download the RT thread studio IDE. If you see here, I have downloaded this already. Let me install this. Okay, click next. Click next. So it will be installed here. D RT thread studio. If you want to change it, just I am changing it to here. OS RT thread studio. Next RT thread studio. So this will install the RT thread studio. We we'll have to wait for some time. Okay, now it has installed. Let's launch the RT Thread Studio. Okay, just close this. Okay, we'll create a new RT Thread project. So I'm going to name it as a Hello World. Okay, no spaces are allowed. So let me put underscore. I'm going to create a new directory. Okay, so I'm going to use the latest version. Microcontroller which I have is STM32F4. We'll have to download the SDK. So here. Okay. So we'll have to download this one, that old one, because okay, I will explain you that. Why do we need that? 0.2.2. First we'll install two. So there you will get a memory, I mean compilation error if you use 0.2.3 with the latest RT Thread Studio. So there are two options that I will explain you later. Okay, both are installed. I'll exit the SDK manager. Then we'll have to create the new RT Thread project. F4, select that F4 and my control would be 411. So I am selecting this and here it is CE. So for console UART, I am going to use UART1 which is PA9, PA10. And J link will be like ST link. Finish. Okay, the project has been created. Let me open the main file. See, it has just simple hello world print. Okay, so here we are using log D. So debug log message. This will be routed through that uh, UART one. Okay, we'll just compile. This IDE has been integrated using QBMX STM32 Cube. So you, you will see these options also. See, 
there are these option i mean errors okay this is because of we are using latest csl chip support library for the new version of this rt studio if we want to uh, overcome this error we will have to downgrade the either rt thread studio or chip support library i mean there are two ways right so first if you want to overcome this you have to downgrade for that also you need to create a new project or the second way what you can do is uh, just click this one you can delete the latest one and exit the sticky manager same here you will have to delete this delete the content as well now we have deleted we will create a new project okay here i'll select <coughs> this directory th th this is the version that i was talking about if you are using 4.0.2 then no need to downgrade that csl version okay so here i want to use the latest version so i just downgraded the csl version now let's take our controller here you can use you can select any controller that you are using here it is just link finish okay it has created we'll open the main file we'll try to build this see there is no error now okay so what we do we will try to flash this code it has to print hello or rt thread i will just click that flash see here it is flashing it it has flashed this we open that serial command window mine is com18 okay about rate all are same fine hello rt thread hello rt thread hello rt thread so it is pretty easy to start get start right yeah so you can use any other controllers like stm32 f4 or stm32 f1 or f0 any control that you can use so in our upcoming tutorials or videos we will see we will go one by one so next video will be based on task and the gpios leds okay we'll see that so if you like our videos subscribe us and press the like button please visit our website as well we are posting multiple tutorials in our website i am sure you will learn something there thank you so much bye take care